The answer to the post-time brain teaser? Gryffindor holds the record for the fastest three-year-old at Harrington Raceway. He rewrote the books on October 17, 2005 with David Miller on the bike during the Messenger Stakes in 152 flat. By the way, Gryffindor is a Harry Potter term. It's one of the houses in the houses of Hogwarts. Gryffindor is a school known for its courage. Welcome back to Post Time. I've got two words for you. The Hambletonian. If you know what that is, then you know why I'm so excited. If you don't know what that is, well, you're about to find out. It's time for Heather's Hambletonian Home Movies. It's August 6th, 2011, and it's Hambletonian Day at the Meadowlands and around the world. I'm getting ready to enter the Meadowlands. There it is, I'm so excited. Today is extra special because Frank Delaverde, who's a director of the Delaware Standard Bread Owners Association, owns a horse in the Hambletonian named Magnum Cosmos. So the first date is represented big time in this big race. I just came to say good luck. This is an exciting day. And is this a dream come true or what? Yep, dream come true. One in a zillion. One in a zillion, yes. What will happen? What will you do if your horse wins today? We're gonna go to the winner circle. <laughs> And we're gonna have a lot of fun. All right, all right. And even if we don't win, we're gonna have a lot of fun. Okay, when I became a horseman, I wanted to um, come up with a job description for me and an owner. Okay. And I figured there were four criteria. Okay. One is write checks. Two is buy lunch. Three is make sure we take care of the trainers and the caretakers. And four is pray a lot. And we've been praying a lot today. Well, I've been praying for you too. I have a really great feeling about today, which sometimes is a good thing and sometimes a bad thing. But, 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 we're going to stay positive. I'm not going to lose. We're here. That's right. We're here. We're already winners. We're a million to be here. We can't lose. We cannot lose. <laughs> yeah, this is very exciting for everybody in the room and the whole state, the whole yeah. first state. That's right. That's right. All right. So, okay. Thank you, dear. It's only fair that I shouldn't play total favorites in this huge race. We're gonna go down to the paddock and check out all the contenders in the Hambletonian. But first, we have to make a little detour for what else? Dessert. What's a party without a spectacular cake? This is the amazing cake that the cake boss made famous cake boss from his reality television show. And check this out, there's like a TV monitor in it. Look at that little monitor with all these highlights from Hambletonian winners. Oh, this is so cool. This is an eight foot cake and a little birdie told me that it cost $8,000. And that, my friend, is a lot of dough. Today, Ryan, Ashley, and yours truly was on TV because we were. What were we? What were we doing, Ryan? We were sitting by the beautiful um, Hamiltonian cake made by the cake box. Was it really a cake, though? Or part of it. Part of it was cake. Some of it was styrofoam, and it was great. Ashley has actually had a cake made by the cake boss. <laughs> Tell me about that cake, Ashley. It was okay. It wasn't my favorite, but it was good. <laughs> I think she's being kind. Okay. All right. And enough of cakes, right? Right. <laughs> right. There goes Rock and Ron Pierce. He's going down to Pastor Steven. Driving championship. That guy the next to one. it is Pastor Stephen. Oh that, yeah, we interviewed oh, him. Hey, look at it. There's Mark Barbrod, always in the house representing <laughs> the first stage. Yes, nice to see you, Mark. Now let's run through the competitors. Number one is Broadbond. 
He fractured a coffin bone last year, but obviously he's overcome that obstacle, having won his elimination for the Hamiltonian. The Broadway Hall Colt is trained by Australian Noel Daly. In the bike is George Brennan, who was voted the United States Harness Riders Association's Driver of the Year in 2010. The horse has the rail with the Minister of Speed. What else is there really to say? Number two is Man of Many Missions. He went off stride just a couple starts back, but rebounded his next start to win his elimination for this big race. The trainer is Irv Miller, who was voted the 2005 Trainer of the Year by the U.S. Harness Writers Association. And in the driver's seat is Irv's brother, Andy Miller, also known as the Orange Crush. Number three is Fox. Fox finished third in his Hamiltonian Elim after sitting a pocket trip. He was 70 to 1 in that race, and he'll be a long shot again. But like his trainer, Jonas Zernison says, if you're not in it, you can't win it. By the way, the Colt is named for a magical phoenix in the Harry Potter series. Number four is Chapter 7. He has overcome so many ailments. When he was younger, he required stitches in his ankle after jumping a fence. And later he needed surgery to correct throat troubles. His owner decided to rename him and his name became Chapter 7 thanks to all of his medical bills. Then this year, he was slowed down by pneumonia, but he was second in the Elim and a sentimental favorite because his trainer, Linda Toscano, has also been a fighter, having survived breast cancer. Linda is the all-time leading female trainer at the Meadowlands. In the bike is Hall of Famer Mike Lachance. Number five is Wit. He finished fourth in his Hambo elimination, but got locked in and just never got loose, so maybe he'll get better racing luck in the final. The son of classic photo is trained by Homer Hofstetler and driven by the country's top rainsman, Tim Tietrich, who has led all the drivers in the country in earnings each year since 2007. Number six is Whiskey Tax. In his elimination, he finished fifth. He got interfered with in the elim and is looking for a better journey this time out. The trainer is Thomas Durand and the driver is Randy Waples, Canada's driver of the year three different times. Both trainer and driver are from Canada. Number seven is opening night and he finished a solid fourth in his elim. Brothers Jim and John Campbell team up again for the Hamiltonian. The siblings won the classic race in 1995 with Tagliabue, a colt that Jim trained. Now this is a huge return to action for John Campbell. He was sidelined as a result of a racing accident on May 30th. His injuries included a broken right shoulder and a broken right knee. He just got off of crutches two weeks ago. John is the all-time leading driver at the Meadowlands and is looking for his seventh win in the Hamiltonian. Number eight is Magnum Cosmos. Now we already know that this is Frank Delaberti's horse. Magnum Cosmos rushed to the lead on the back stretch and gamely held on to finish second in his Hambo Olympic. Frank, who races under the name of Wiz Kid Stable, used to go to Yonkers Raceway when he was a kid and fell for the sport. Magnum Cosmos was purchased for $6,000 and he's trained by Tony Dingus, who's also making his first Hamiltonian appearance. In the driver's seat is Brian Sears, the 2009 Driver of the Year by the U.S. Harness Raiders Association. Number nine is Lucky Charm Hanover, who finished fifth in his Hambo elimination. The son of Andover Hall has been really unlucky with his post positions. Now one of his owners is Brian Owen, who's the president of Chocoversity, a company that prints photos onto chocolate. Another owner, Arthur Rudolph, makes vitamins. Chocolate and vitamins, two important ingredients in my diet, Trainer Tom Houghton won the 1982 Hamiltonian as a driver, but taking the reins in this big final is 
not the Lucky Charms leprechaun. Uh, uh no, not him. But instead, David Miller got the call. And finally, we came upon Pastor Stephen in stall number 10. And not just the horse Pastor Stephen. I'm talking about the original Pastor Stephen. How does it feel to have a horse yeah, named after you that's going to be in the Hamiltonians? It's so exciting and it's just about to go off. So. I think it's very wonderful. Tremendous. Oh my goodness. Tremendous. Now, does it help that you might have a little bit of like divine intervention or? No, but um, this horse is a winner already because people are hearing about what we're doing in Africa and our friends are being helped. And so, Pastor Stephen has already won. However he does in the race is just extra. So. All right. Amen to that. Pastor Stephen is named after the Tactor family's church pastor, and 5% of the horse's earnings benefit Villages in Partnership, an organization that assists the people of Malawi, Africa. Pastor Stephen, who was the champion for his division last year, was third in the elimination. The cult is trained by Jimmy Tactor, who's a three-time winner of the Glenn Garnsey Trainer of the Year Award and driven by Ron Pierce, who's experiencing one of the best years of his career. All the horses are on the track. Who will fill this space for the 2011 winner? We are about to find out. Okay, as I got closer to the track, I found out that, once again, I ended up not wearing tall enough heels to be able to shoot the race appropriately. But that's good for you guys because we're going to see the Meadowlands TV control feed of the race, which would be a much better one than mine. So take it away, announcer Ken Workington. And they're off in the 86th Hamiltonian. Lucky Charm Hanover left out of there. Off stride went Magnum Cosmos early. Whiskey Tax has asked for speed. And Broad Bond from the inside. Broad Bond and George Brennan taking charge. Broad Bond, Whiskey Tax. Here comes Lucky Charm Hanover up on the outside to challenge Man of Many Missions. Settles in the fourth spot as they head to the opening quarter. It's Fox on the inside, uh, fifth past the opening quarter, followed by opening night. Then comes Chapter 7 near the back of the path. Wit urging there for Wit. And then it's Pastor Steven after the miscue. Magnum Cosmos trails down the back stretch off a pretty brisk quarter of 27 and 1. Brennan's trying to ration out the speed of Broad Bond. Elimination winner Broad Bond in front and in full control. Randy Waples, Whiskey Tax riding that pocket trip here. Lucky Charm Hanover is third. To the outside goes Man of Many Missions. Looks to be flushed out there by Fox. Shooting the gap is uh, Wit from the inside as they pass the uh, half mile. Uh, opening night is into the flow now. Third over for Campbell. Pastor Steven buried on the inside. Chapter 7 gets into the flow. Fourth over, about eight and a half, nine from the lead. And then comes Magnum Cosmos. The half was a rated 56, so Brennan got the breather he needed. It's Broad Bond, the one to knock off. First over again for Man of Many Mission. Has he got another one left in him? He's second on the outside and challenging. Whiskey Tax now locked in third past three quarters. Fox is gapping on the outside, fourth. Lucky Charm Hanover is fifth as they turn for home. Chapter seven, three wide with work to do. Fox wins off stride. Three quarters, 123 and four, 27 four in that third quarter. It is Broad Bond trying to go all the way. Broad Bond, Whiskey Tax needs racing room. Man of Many Missions on the outside. Keep off stride. Man of Many Missions is off stride. It appeared it affected Whiskey Tax to the wire. That leaves it all to Broad Bond, the Minister of Speed. And he's on Autobahn. Broad Bond, Whiskey Tax, then opening night. And Chapter 7, 153, Broad Bond wins the Hamiltonian. Broad Bond won the $1.5 million Hamiltonian in 153. Congratulations to the connections. But what about our Delaware horse? He made a bobble at the start, so how is Frank feeling about this? Well, I can't retire now. Well, Frank's a great sport, and I think he took it a lot better than I did. Frank's uh, horse went off stride, but you know what? That happens in horse racing. It just does, right? You guys can attest to that. You never know. Every, never know. It's a gamble every time you hit the track. That's right. Ashley, any words? I'm just happy for the one that won, and better luck next time for Frank. You know what? She's just so awesome. Is she not? Everybody give Ashley an applause. 
Together, Hambletonian is in the books. I hope you enjoyed this day through the eyes of my camera. 2012 will be here before we know it. And so will another installment of Heather's Hambletonian Home Movies.